Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I personally wrestle with with regard to the faith, and today we'll discuss whether people will be given beauty in heaven by God. Of course, everything in heaven is a gift from God, and in episode 383, we discussed how those in heaven have beauty and are also able to appreciate it even more than we can. However, there is still one verse that I feel raises an issue on this score. And for Raymond, why are you solicitous? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They labor not, neither do they spin. But I say to you that not even Solomon in all his glory was arrayed as one of these. And if the grass of the field, which is today and tomorrow, is cast into the oven, God doth so clothe, how much more you, O ye of little faith, Matthew six twenty eight to 30 So what's the problem? Well, the truth is that human beings have something that lilies and grass don't with regard to beauty. Differing aesthetics. Let me explain. Beauty is defined as that which, when seen, pleases. And this will be different between different people. Some people think chickens are beautiful, while other people have very bad experiences with chickens and think they look terrible. Some people think flowers are gorgeous, while others think they're boring or even gross. Some people think glasses look terrible on a person, while other people think they make any person look ten times better. There's no point of universal agreement on the issue of beauty. Because of this, the ability of people to appreciate beauty of different kinds is limited, not just by the temptation towards sin, but by the fact that they're different from each other. However, remember that God brings things to perfection in heaven. If people weren't able to appreciate their own beauty or the beauty of others, that would be an imperfection. While we may sometimes wish that certain kinds of beauty could be appreciated more, for example, that your brother was more able to appreciate the beautiful picture you have on your wall, it would be disordered to wish that some kind of beauty was less appreciated, and there's not really any reason to. So it seems likely that in heaven... People will appreciate beauty of more types and be more able to get along agreeably as a result. The example of the lily isn't meant to refer to heavenly beauty as such, but only the concern over the appreciation of their outward appearance that many people had at the time and still have today. Jesus was saying, these kinds of things are easily granted, don't worry about them, there's a time and a place for that. Next, why aren't our prayers always answered? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.